Boy, those guys get uncomfortably close. Welcome back, everybody, to 7 Days and I'm an old guy gaming, and this is the Insane Series, where we play on Insane Difficulty. Zombies are all set to nightmare speed, and we have a hell of a fun time doing it. All right, uh, it's getting sort of kind of late in the day. Uh, what I'm, in fact, I'm going to even pause the game here. What I want to do is I'm going to do another trader run, and um, we might actually take the motorcycle this time just because the motorcycle uh, is a lot fat. Well, not a lot, but it's a little bit faster than the 4 by. Um, <clears throat> with the express purpose of looking for um, a crucible more than anything else. Um, so we're going to do that first, and then we're probably going to hit the church um, in the later part of the episode. Uh, we are pretty much finished with the horde base, except for a little bit more steel upgrading to go on the less uh, crucial parts, we should say. So I'm still, you know, working on cranking out steel here uh, like crazy. And I've got more steel. Uh, I've got 400 steel on me, but I got more steel down below too. Um, so yeah, we're working on that. Garden's been fine. I've done several harvests, and so we got food. Uh, all kinds of food. Several stacks of corn, a few stacks of potatoes, um, lots of dried food up here. Look at all those mushrooms we got. So we're in great shape on food. And um, I'll, I'll, I'll cook up another batch. I might even set up another campfire here just so we can, you know, double our production. But, yeah, we're, we're in fat city, so to speak, <laughs> on the food itself. Uh, I spent a lot of time mining more iron. So we got several stacks of iron there. Um, and, you know, just continue to to crank it up in the forges there. We're continuing to replenish our concrete. Uh, so we got the industry going uh, full bore here. I made a whole bunch of jars too uh, earlier. And yeah, that pretty much gets us updated, I think, on on where we're at in terms of resources and whatnot. Oh, I did mine a whole mess of oil shale too. So these guys are busy making gasoline. Um, speaking of which, let's go ahead and grab a stack of that. And let's grab our motorcycle. And let's grab some um we're not going to need a full stack of a coin but we'll just grab a full stack anyways and i guess we have this to sell uh let's repair it i sold a whole bunch of stuff on i think one of the casual construction episodes and uh, we made a boatload of money and i even went ahead and bought a um i forget the elixir let's see is there anything else in here i want to get rid of no i don't think so not right now um at a, at a discount because at the time I was on both sugar butts and the uh, awesome sauce. Uh, so we got the forget lecture at a bargain price. That brings that price up to 968. Um, and that is sitting in here waiting for us uh, when we're ready to do our respec, which is a few more levels yet from now. All right, guys. So what I'll do is I'm just going to uh, do cuts and I'll bring you back as we get to each trader. And uh, we are looking for, hopefully, a um, a crucible, uh, or even better, the crucible schematic, but at least another crucible. All right, so I'll see you guys at the first trader, which is going to be probably the desert trader. Let's hit the desert trader first. All right, we are at the desert trader, Joel, and let's see what he's got. Like? Looking secret stash first. We will take shotgun messiah. Urban combat four, and that's really all he has that we want right now. Um, probably should have taken a sugar butts, but it doesn't matter. That stuff's not that expensive. Um, okay. If we do find a crucible, though, we'll take the sugar butts for that. Okay, that's all he's got. Uh, we might as well sell this to him. Save travel. Well, <clears throat> you know what? Let's take a sugar butts for that. Get a little bit more coin. And okay, that takes care of that. Uh, what's this one do? When sneaking, you always land silently unless you are taking damage. Okay, yeah, that's a good one. That means we can jump down from places while we're in sneak mode and we won't get, um, it, it won't make any noise. And we also finished the achievement for that too, which is great. Uh, learn how to clean and maintain shot. Shotguns have 20% less degradation. Okay. Uh, what do we get for the, uh, was that urban combat that we just got? That's a really good one. It is. Awesome. Okay. Silencers have no damage penalty. Beautiful. That's going to really help for our stealth build. Plus, I'm using a silencer on the pistol right now. Anyway, um, 
Almost makes me wonder if we want to put one on our tack then. What would we replace? Eh, probably none of that stuff. If we have had or uh, get a purple tack, you know, then then we could add it to that. Okay, let's just buy stuff, candies and canned food that we want. We don't really need any of the rest of that stuff. Oh, you know what else we need to do? We need to find the, we need to find the the um, snow biome because I I can make yucca smoothies now, but I need snowballs for that. Uh, so that's something you know definitely on our list pretty soon too. Okay, so our next um, place that we're gonna go is we're gonna head south and hit this Trader Joel down here. Uh, then we're gonna cross over and hit Trader Gin. Then we're gonna go up, hit Trader Wrecked, and then cross back over, hit this Trader Joel and this Trader Hugh. Whether or not we can get to all of them before it's too late, time will tell. But I'll see you at the next trader. All right, guys, I changed my mind and decided to hit the, the more northern traders first because I can get to them quicker than the other ones. Um, so that way, you know, if we don't manage to get to everybody, we still got more coverage in the time that we have here. Uh, we'll take that and that. All right, so let's uh, see what Hugh has. Are you going to purchase something? We still have a little bit of uh, sugar butts left, too. He's got an orange tack rifle. We know all those recipes. Okay, nothing in secret. Let's look at his normal stash really quick. A couple of compound crossbows. Okay. Quit nope. wasting my time. He doesn't have anything that we need. All right, I'll see you over at Trader Joel just to the west of us. Okay, guys, we're at Trader Joel. Let's check uh, the vending machine here really quick. Take a health bar, and we don't really need any rest of that stuff. All right, Trader Joel, what you got, bud? Take a look at Secret Stash first. We, we might as well buy that. What the hell, right? Uh, Ranger's Guide to Archery. 20% uh, more arrows and bolts from your target. Retrieve. Good, good, good. Um, nah, we don't need that recipe. I have never had a problem running out of antibiotics, or even never even needed to make antibiotics. In Alpha 18 or 19, uh, because you just find enough of them, you know. All right, let's take a look at the normal st stash here. You know, I might actually grab this just because I might start a third forge at some point, and I already have an anvil. I've been selling them, actually. Um, let's see here. Nope, that doesn't ha he doesn't have anything Save else. All right. Levels. Now we have a, a, a longer uh, trek to get to Trader Wrecked. In fact, I wonder if... He's all the way over here. <clears throat> I wonder if it would be better. Uh, I probably am not going to be able to get to Wrecked and to Jin. The problem with Jin, though, is I don't know what's here. And if we get into rough country, that could really slow us down. Whereas we have highway all the way to Wrecked. Yeah, what the hell? Let's just go to Wrecked. Um, and, you know, if I think there's a, a chance we could make it to, to Jin... And then we'll try it. If not, then we'll just probably come home. All right, so I'll see you guys over at Trader Wrecked. Okay, here we are at Trader Wrecked. What do you want? I want you to sell me a crucible. Marksman rifle schematic, we already know that. Uh, pistol P volume 6, 9 mil, uh, armor piercing 9 mil. Beautiful, love that one. We will start making that. I want to get the ones for 7.62 as, as well. Okay, so we're done... I don't need any of the rest of that stuff. Let's take a look at his normal. Okay. All right, now that we're done doing business, get out of my store. Let's check this. All right, we got a scooch. We might be able to make it to Trader Gen. Um. Oh shit. Yikes, you son of a, we need to, um, I need to stop and look at the map for a second, so, come here you bastard. Alright, so what I want to do is, we need to basically hit the road this way, so we're going to risk a going cross country because it's going to cut a lot of time off, so hopefully we don't run into really bad terrain. 
All right, guys. Well, I will see you um, over at uh, Trader Gin. Okay, we made it to Trader Gin. Let's move, 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 move. So, let's see. We want eye candy, salmon hacker, sugar butts, and lamb rations. You again. I'm okay, to what do you got? You like Dr. Jen. I do like Dr. Jen. Okay, there's... Uh, no, we already know that one. I'm going to buy this... I think, um, and an engine. Okay, let's look at normal stash. There's a learning elixir, but I think we can make that stuff. Plus, we got several dog foods that I've been saving. Nope. I hope you get okay. feeling better. All right. Well, I seriously doubt we can make it to Trader Joel, <laughs> but we got to go back that way anyway, so we might as well try, right? Uh, let's take a quick look. See, let's see. Yeah, he's all the way up here. That's just not gonna happen. Um, yeah, we got it. We gotta hit this highway here and head. Some, you know, unless we want to risk going. This is pretty rough terrain here. Um, to here, and then we can go. You know, up this way, and then just cross this gap to get all the way up there. Um, this terrain here looks pretty damn rough. Well, you know what, though? This could be... This could be a workable route kind of in through here. I don't know. Looks like I've gone that way before. I just don't remember how rough it was. You know what? Maybe I'll do... Uh, there's there's just no way we're going to make it um, to the last trader. Uh, but that's okay. I mean, he's, he's close to the house, so we can check him tomorrow anyway. But, um... We need to find a snow biome. So what I might actually do is head down this highway and keep going south, um, and uh, see you know see what we have at the south. It's either going to be wasteland or snow biome. So maybe we'll maybe we'll just take a little bit of a road trip. Uh, all right. So that being the case, we need to go this way and. Yeah, you know what, guys? Why don't we do this? Uh, I'll, I'll put some tunes on for you, and uh, let's just do a little little bit of a road trip down south and see, you know, what we can find. And then, depending upon how our time goes, um, I still plan on, you know, starting the church uh, in the latter part of this episode. So, uh, yeah, hope you enjoy the music. Let's do it.
All right, guys. Well, um, that appears to be wasteland over there, but I can't zoom any more on this scope, and I can't tell for a hundred percent sure, but I think that it is based upon looking at the, you know, the texture. That area over there, if I kind of look at it in my peripheral vision, it looks like I see either water or white. Um, but if I look at it directly, then of course it doesn't uh, show up. So we, you know, we know that we know the, the West is burnt. So my guess is that the West, you know, as you go further South on the Western end of the map, it turns into wasteland. So I'm pretty sure that's wasteland, which means then the snow is probably going to be to the Southeast uh, or it's all the way up to the North. So Let's see. Uh, this is very rugged terrain to here, so I think I'm going to go back to maybe this point and then see if we can find a way through here um, and just, you know, see if we can get, because, we're you know, we're pretty far south now, uh, at least to the water and confirm, you know, that, uh, that this is wasteland. Um, so what I'll do is... Um, you know, just retrace my steps and then head that way and probably cut the camera until I get to that point. So, all right, so I'll see you guys over there. Haha, -ha, look at that. We did find the snow. All right, awesome. Awesome, awesome. Pretty rugged terrain uh, through here, though. Okay, so now, and that is definitely wasteland off to the right, too. For sure. Makes me wonder what what's up north then. Unless there, unless you know, you can have multiple uh, biomes of the same type. I didn't notice that uh, in experimental. It seems like they were all together at that point. All right. Well, here's the wasteland. Now that we know where it is, let's stay away from it. <laughs> I don't think we have any reason to go there uh, that I can think of. So, okay, well, what I'm going to do is kind of work my way east-ish. Uh, well, you know what? Actually, let's go this way. Let's just get the, the ocean uncovered on the southern part of our map, just so we know. Just so we can say we've been there, you know what I mean? And then hopefully we'll find a road... Heading back up north, so we can, uh, you know, get the hell out of here. But I'm gonna right before we leave the snowball, I'm gonna stop and get a bunch of snowballs because we need those for um, yucca smoothies. All right, we have found the Southern Ocean. Stupid buzzard. Whilst we're here in the snowbound, uh, maybe we'll see if we can hunt some mountain lions as well. We can change this um, bookmark to... Can you... I guess we can't edit bookmarks, right? We can just take them away. Well, we don't even need that now because we can see by looking at the map that that's wasteland over that direction. All right. Well, um, yeah, let's uh, let's kind of start working our way east then. And uh, if we see mountain lions, we will shoot them and harvest them for meat and hide and all that kind of stuff. And deer, too. We can find deer in the snow bomb. I'm going to offload a few things into here as well. Okay, we have two mountain lions and a Larry and a wandering yo, I think, zombie. 
he's probably feral because he wouldn't normally be out here. Uh, so let's take, let's get Larry out of the way first because he's going to be the biggest pain in the ass. That didn't get anybody else's attention, did it? No. Is he dead? Yeah. All right. Shit. I was trying to drop him without you damaging him after he's dead, but he was coming in pretty damn fast, so. We lost some resources on that, but it is what it is. Better him than me, right? Okay, so we got another lion over that direction. There he is, right there. Wait, where did he go? Oh, he's right there. Okay. I was looking for him over to the left a little bit more. Okay, good. We got 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 his head there. So, we'll, we should get the full harvest from this one. Away, Larry. Okay, I think I think we got twenty pieces of meat from him, maybe. Was there like a wandering horde that came through here? Because those guys don't usually they're not usually in the snowbomb. Oh, we got a bear over here. I'm assuming that's a normal bear, because <clears throat> I don't think zombo bears are in the snow, but even if it is a zombo bear, we'll, they'll give us some good resources, too. Oh, shit. There we go. <laughs> oh, man. That's terrible. That is a scary sight, man, seeing something like that coming towards you, and they're closing. You just pull in the trigger, and they're still not going down. A little unnerving. Okay, so we got 35 pieces of meat off of that one. Uh, all right. Well, let's see. Where are we at? We're we're pretty darn close to. Um, this is basically right in the middle of the map, east and west, where we came down. So, uh, what I'm gonna do is probably start working my way north again uh, I'd like to get to this point and then follow this highway and see you know kind of see where it's going so yeah I think that's what we'll do and uh, you know continue looking for uh, for game as we go along Okay, we got a bear, a mountain lion, and two Larrys. And the bear's doing a number on the Larry. Oh, and a bunny, too. Larry, I am going to pound the tar out of you. Okay, let's get back over here. We have a little bit smoother terrain. You hit me, I hit you. You've suffered an abrasion. Larry, look what you did to me. Let's also take one of these. That should get us down to like, yeah, three minutes. Okay. All right. So another bear and another mountain lion 
and some Larry's I've got to deal with. So let's get uh, this Larry out of the way here. Okay. Got another. That's a Mo. An Egger. I guess maybe those those zombos do wander around randomly in the snow bomb at night. I didn't think they would, but they do because these are all different than just normal Larry zombos. Larry the lumberjack. Takes care of him. Okay, let's move back this way. We need to find the bear and the mountain lion. Uh, hmm. Yeah, I think it was. We came from this direction, right? Oh shit! There's the bear right there. There's the bar right there. Is our M60 fully loaded? Okay, I think, I think we probably did a little extra damage to him afterwards, but it's all right. Well, we got 44 chunks of meat off of him. That's not so bad. Do I have any coffee on me? I'm a little bit chilly. I'm not super bad cold, but a little bit. Uh, you know what we could do, actually? Why don't we take... Oh, incidentally, I killed a, a Hawaii Five-O, a fat zombie. Just a random one walking out in the when I was mining, and uh, he, he dropped this purple SWAT helmet. I was like, oh, score. Uh, so I didn't loot that deliberately. Uh, I don't like to loot high-level stuff off camera, but, you know... That's just what happened, and so there it is. All right, so if we take this thing off, that'll actually help to warm us up, because that's actually a cooling mod. Let's see if that takes away our yellow snowflake, or even if it doesn't, it's definitely helping to keep us a little bit warmer. Okay, we need to find that mountain lion now. But I saw him over this way. Let's go up on this ridge here so we can see a little bit better. All right, well, I'm not sure where he got off to. down here and a zombo that just keeled over I think his TTL must have run out all right well um, let's uh let's just keep heading north then okay looks like we're getting to the edge of the snow. So we're going to stop and get us a, a big old supply of snowballs so that we can uh, make our yucca smoothie. Whereabouts are we at, too, by the way? We're still very far south. But hopefully this town, you know, is in this area so we can get, reach it fairly quickly. Oh, you know what? Uh, is that desert or is that just the way the snow or, or the lights shining off the... 
terrain. I think that might be water. How far to the east are we? Yeah, we're we're fairly close. Yeah, that's probably the ocean. I might go check that out just for oh another bear, just for the hell of it. Man, we are hunting bar today, aren't we? All right, let's wait for him to turn his head around. Here we go. Boy, <laughs> those guys get uncomfortably close. Ah, oh, geez. Okay. Thirty-nine pieces of meat. If you get a perfect kill on those well, I guess it depends upon your harvesting skills and all that too, which I haven't put any points into. But I wonder what the maximum meat you could get off of those guys would be. Um if you don't you know, damage them after after they they go down. Okay, well, I'll tell you what. I'm going to uh, dig up a bunch of snow. And then maybe what we'll do is we will head over that way just to, to see it. And then I'll probably, we'll probably end the episode there. Sorry, guys, we're not going to make it to the church today, but we'll do that in the next episode. Um, well, actually, we have Horde Night. So, yeah, we'll just see how the time goes. Um, but, yeah, let's get some snow first. And then I'll take you with me over there to see what's over there and then we'll wrap up the episode. How many snowballs do we need for a yucca smoothie? Just one? <laughs> okay, well, we got 1,276. Uh, so I think that's all we need. I don't, I don't think we'll be making 1,276 yucca smoothies between now and the end of this series. Uh, not likely, anyways. Okay, let's go check out and see what's over here. And if we run into any more mountain lions or bears along the way. It's actually good to see that we have so many um, bears in... Oh, did we just not have rendered territory because all, all of a sudden now there's another bear all of a sudden now we can't oh i must have been looking off into the sky okay because yeah there's still quite a ways to get to the east there kind of a nice view though All right, well, we have another bear. Wow, look at that. We one-shot at him right in the head. Okay. Well, we're going to find out what the harvest is on an undamaged bear with no skills in whatever the hell that skill is. I think it might be 50 meat, but let's just see what we get here. Yep, 50 pieces of meat. Beautiful. Um, The skill for that, I think, is it in the fortitude tree? Or the... The huntsman. That's the one. So, level 5 get basically would double that. Nice. Okay. Oh, got a dire wolf. Man, this is just game all day long. Okay, let's kill this guy. Is that a dire wolf or is that just a normal? I think it's a dire wolf. He's pretty big. Big and black. Ooh. 
Damn, he got close. <laughs> I couldn't get a good clear shot off him off on him because of the the brush. All right. Well, guys, I think this is a a good place to wrap things up. I'm going to uh, work my way back to the north. Um, you know, get back to this highway, and then I might follow this highway, you know, this direction just to see where it goes. Uh, my guess is that it's either going to hit more snow, um, or it's going to hit the desert, which we know is up, you know, this way. Uh, and then, of course, this is the ocean here. Uh, but eventually wake, make my way back to the base and kind of get situated. And then, depending upon how our time goes, if I feel like we have enough time for another episode before Horde Night, we'll probably go do the church. Uh, we need to check the other trader, too. Uh, that's just south of the house. So this... No, not that one. Uh, this trader. Uh, and so if we do have enough time, we'll do another episode. We'll, we'll go do the church. If we don't have enough time, I'll probably just spend the rest of the day mining. And then we will do our very first tour night in our brand new base. And it should be exciting. Guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share out the video, and we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.